What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Apologize for the wait, but I figured I would finally make a video, especially regarding to Elden Ring. We finally have a trailer confirming and a release date for Shadow of the Earth Tree, the next DLC for Elden Ring. It's finally happening. It came out today as of recording this video. And I am super stoked, and just like anybody else that is an Elden Ring fan, should be super stoked. This looks absolutely massive. So in today's video, we're just going to do a little breakdown of the trailer. I'll have it playing in the background uh, uh, constantly, that way we can uh, talk about it and talk about all the different shots and, uh, you know, the enemies and armors and weapons. Uh, unique Astral Wars, it looks like, um, and we have a badass new endgame boss. Uh, his looks like it's going to be uh, Mesmer the Impaler. Uh, that's the name that I pulled up from the uh, Bandai Namco site for the collector's edition of the uh, of the DLC, pretty much. <laughs> um, I'll put the links uh, for that in the description down below. Uh, but without further ado, let's uh, let's take a look at this trailer. All right. So first things first, Egg Theory has been confirmed pretty much in this trailer. In the first opening seconds of this trailer, uh, it shows. Somebody standing right in front of uh, the egg in, in Mogwin's palace. Uh, that's behind Mogwin after you beat him. Uh, and the hand coming out of the egg, I believe that is Mikola. Um, this was theorized when the game first came out. So I'm pretty sure we're going to interact with this and enter the new DLC. And then it looks like we have like a darkened version of like the lands between. Like it's like dark. Uh, like the, the Ur tree is like sh uh, casting a shadow over the landscape. You know, we still got Torrent riding around in the fields. Uh, it looks like a totally different uh, area uh, when it comes to the lands between. Uh, you know, we got different knights. Looks like different NPCs that we'd be able to talk to. Um, you know, we got whole different areas. Um, don't know who this person is, but, th you know, another swamp. You know, we got some lore going on in the background here. Uh, many, many dungeon looking areas. I mean, that looks like a beefed up version of like the palace. Uh, we got this big fiery dude, which, uh, was really cool. And then this weird monster, uh, you know, eating <laughs> our faces off. Um, you know, we got this boss here. Looks like he's going to be tons of fun. Uh, he's got like a breath attack and, uh, looks like he's got lightning, uh, casting and all that other stuff that looks pretty dope. Uh, and then we, looks like we are looking at our end game boss for the DLC, and this is Mesmer the Impaler. Um, this is the, uh, Collector's Edition statue guy, uh, that's on there. Um, so it looks like we got dual swords, unique Ashes of War, unique movesets. Uh, got this, you know, casting right here. Uh, got a fighting, we're throwing, exploding pots. Uh, this knight looks absolutely badass, and we have like a Gatling crossbow now. Uh, we got like a bear roar. You know, we got all kinds of new stuff. You know, new NPCs, new enemies. Uh, you know, we got this hippopotamus looking monster uh, with the lightning coming out. Uh, Bloodborne reference. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, this looks like, he looks like he's going to be our, uh, our final boss for the, the DLC, uh, is, is this guy. And, uh, yeah, it, this, this trailer was absolutely packed full of content. You know, we got another Ashy War there with the Crucible Night Wings. Uh, and then finally we have the release dates coming out June 21st, 2024. But to go off of that, pretty much the... Map size, there were some uh, interviews with Miyazaki uh, following that trailer. Um, he pretty much said that the DLC is going to be the about same size as the base game, if not a little bit bigger, um, especially when it comes to like the starting area, uh, like Limgrave. Like, uh, it'll be a lot, a little bit bigger than Limgrave um, for like the starting area of the DLC. Uh, but this is apparently a whole new zone. Um, you know, it looks like an altered version of the lands between because it looks very similar but it is actually a like whole new zone um like i said following probably us interacting with the cocoon after uh we fight mogwin uh, but there's going to be tons of new bosses uh there's unique weapons there's going to be uh different weapon styles different weapon arts uh, especially ashes of war it looks like we have hand-to-hand -hand combat uh with the like you know, we got these uh, two swords with the sidestep. We got these throwing daggers that actually stun enemies. 
Uh, we got the spell casting thing. Uh, there's the unarmed uh, combat. You know, of course, we got exploding jars. Um, this were, you know, Gatling crossbow. That looks absolutely insane. Looks like we got new incantations and shouts uh, following up our arcane. Um, so, yeah, it looks absolutely insane. Um, but June 21st is the date, guys. Uh, and I can't wait. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And I hope you're super excited for the new DLC for Elden Ring Shadow of the Year Tree. Again, it comes out June 21st, 2024. And best believe we'll be, we will be making content around that once that time comes. So drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video. Deuces.